Record breaker. Thank you very much. I'm not thanking you uh, for actually running too forward. I worked a lot uh, preparing the slides. Uh, uh, my name is here, uh, the title is here, and uh, everything is here. And then it is over. There is no more slide. There are no more slides. But I think it is a very good point, and I think that uh, then I think that we all uh, make mistakes, like. Uh, uh, you uh, just see here uh, the wall of the sheep, uh, which is still working. I might also be a sheep, uh, like, you know, I'm talking about uh, um, human mistakes and then I might be uh, on that wall. Now, uh, there are a lot of mistakes. I'm here and then uh, there's uh, windows here and there are a lot of uh, SSIDs. Uh, but this is this is not uh, this is could have been prevented, but it's not my mistake. And then at the previous uh, presentation, it was visible that you can see uh, my name card, which actually it can is make me a subject to a social engineering attack. Uh, actually, my name is there, but you know, in a foreign environment, um, uh, when you have. Uh, when I have uh, my name and when I have my title, uh, which makes me uh, uh, prone to be attacked by uh, uh, social engineering. Uh, yes, we just, you know, um, uh, drink and then um, security information is uh, leaked. Anyway, I was uh, trying to collect uh, pieces of uh, information on mistakes uh, that are um, because of ourselves, uh, which could have been prevented. Now, it might come up, the whole concept, that I go over uh, the weak points. And then experience shows that the weak points are always uh, abused. There is nothing new under the sun. This is uh, my title of my presentation. Uh, the tools I'm going to use are not from this millennia, like for a blouse or alley trap. Now, if, if I download alley trap, then all of the uh, virus programs will say that this is not a good code. Do I really want to download it and so forth? The reason I'm showing this is because uh, there is nothing uh, preventing anyone uh, to prepare something similar, uh, which is uh, uh, which does the same. However, would not be detected by the antivirus programs, uh, because we know that there are profit-oriented uh, experts uh, trying to come up with codes, uh, which codes uh, just as. Um, uh, trick the antivirus programs. They have all the opportunities because uh, because they just uh, tailor the, the code as long as uh, it goes uh, through uh, the antivirus programs. We can see uh, the source code and uh, the, the guy wrote, well, it's very good that a lot of people use my program, although I three, uh, haven't uh, touched it three years ago, for three years. Uh, this is actually from 1999. Now, Netcat is also a veteran. Um, what, what I can see on this page here is that digital signature is from November 2004. I mean, this is when it's going to expire. <laughs> meaning that it expired already six years ago. Therefore, virus, antivirus programs would say that this is very dangerous. But the f and the source code is there. And then I'm going to show you another thing. Uh, actually, all of these things could be programmed. Uh, so these are my hacker to my hacking tools. Uh, let's raise our hands. I swear that I know Net2. Who's the guy who says this? Yeah. 60%, I would say. OK, further participants. I have three machines. The black is obviously a hacker machine. This is, I think, uh, straightforward. This is how it has to be. I have uh, another one. This is a, uh, this is Aunt My Mary's uh, computer. Uh, this is a domain uh, machine. And I also have a domain controller where I have the active uh, directories, users, and computers. This is where I can see um, Mori Nini, that is Auntie Mary. Auntie Mary has no um, Auntie Mary 
the user, as far as the user rights are concerned, she's nowhere. She's only in the domain of users, uh, but I can throw her out if I want to throw her out from here. So these are the uh, participants. And let's start the story then. I'm a mouse magician, so I don't have to uh, type. OK, the first tool I'm, I'm uh, starting to use is going to be Netcat. For the 40% who didn't uh, raise their hands or they didn't really don't know the uh, Web2, uh, this is a pipe machine, um, a piping machine, uh, which what it does is that from TCP channel sends everything into or out from the TCP channel. And with another client, if you uh, uh, link to that uh, TCP channel, you can enter data. So first of all, uh, the, the main reason is to use it for chatting, like, for example, listen on port 80. This is going to be a web-based chat program. I'm going to start to launch another command prompt. A lot of letters here, but anyway, no, I uh, mistyped something. Yeah, here. Okay, so what are, what are the TCP channels that are open uh, on my machine? Uh, which ports uh, are you listening at? Uh, yes, it is, and it was not me who did it. Now, you can see that there is no web server here, but if I hit an enter, and then he's starting to listen on port 80. There is a special web server which has only one disadvantage. It does not understand HTTP protocol. But anyway, it's uh, f well off. This is going to be a good point of my attack because uh, obviously you could say that this would not go through the po proxy filters. Yes, not in this form, but what what would it take? Uh, how much would it take to translate it into HTTP language? And then uh, it would just slip through everything. Now, I'm going to now show you uh, this TCP channel. Good. And again, here I uh, launch an AdCat. And then with this, I would just uh, hook on the other one, which in this case is localhost 80, port 80. And then I'm done with the OK. So we can see that I'm ready. And uh, the whole instant messaging service is uh, replaced by a netcat, which is like 60 kilobytes. Now, obviously, this is not the use that anything, anyone is going to um, have dreamless nights. But you can direct your commands to anything, which in this case is going to be command prompt. My objective is uh, to gain control, uh, gain control over Auntie Mary's uh, machine. Now, oh, how will this program be installed on uh, Auntie Mary's machine? Elite Web that I showed you is able. Uh, to pack, to make a package of uh, anything. Everyone wants to uh, send a smart program to Auntie Mary. But then I uh, decided you don't need to send any uh, smart program to Auntie Mary because she doesn't know what it is. And even if I find, um, even if I find a, a very smart program, then uh, that would be a setup program. Uh, so I'm just going to send her a JPEG. The the advantage of which is that it is going to be it is it is going to be appear uh, through paint and she will think uh, that that there is a new program uh, launched uh, because there are certain users who don't know what an op, op, op system and what uh, an application is now i'm just uh, stopping this chat here i go back so when Auntie Mary uh, joins in, she can join in. And now I'm going to prepare a package, um, a gift package to Auntie Mary. Well, this uh, very runs very well on Windows 2008. It's not very stable, but anyway, that's not a problem. 
and let me show you what I prepared in this directory. I have everything that I need. I have uh, this uh, uh, picture of a dog. Uh, this is the Ellie trap. I, I'm sending her um, a net cap with the right parameters and also a DV, PV dump. FG dump, what it does is that not only the passwords but the cache list, everything is going to be listed at the same time. So let's see this. What is going to be the file name? Uh, Drawing.exe. Roy is in Hungarian. CRC check, RK. Let's just put a netcat in. which uh, is uh, line three in this line. Uh, it is going to be asynchronous, it is going to be hidden, and the command line is going to be that uh, it has to link back to me on the hacker machine. Obviously, this is not a great network now, so everything is here in local, but can we, can we, I think we should believe that this would just uh, pass through the routers. And then here's the trick. Whatever she gets on this channel, uh, should be sent to CMD exe. And let's stop here for a while because space didn't work again. So, what are we talking about? What I'd like to. I, I have a, a false web server on this black machine, and if someone joins in to. Uh, uh, hooks in uh, on to this. Uh, 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 force web server through the wire firewalls, then everything is turned around and I'm going to remote control the machines so anything that seems to be an outward and outbound HTTP uh, traffic to others, it is going to be an inbound um, uh, remote control. Now FG dump is here and this is going to serve very well in the uh, future. There are a lot of bugs so uh, FG dump I have to run with number three, okay, and then I need to put in the the dog, but the picture about the dog. So he really to have a, a, a present, which is just going to be uh, packaged in. How am I going to make it appear? I'm going to send an MS Paint, which is C slash. Obviously, this is the windows of, of her windows. MSPaint.exe. MSPaint, who uses that? OK, again, 60% uses MSPaint. And then the input is going to be the picture. Yeah, good. Nothing else. I didn't tell him tell him what to do with it. Wrap. There's no number six. I screwed up something. No problem. I did it in advance. I think you can see what I was uh, wrapping together. And then here, there is uh, the Royce.exe. How am I going to uh, convince Auntie Mary to run this? And then I said, uh, Maybe she sh I should make her find the pen drive because smart people do not buy pen drive. They either find it or they win it, you know. And then with auto run, anything was uh, launched from this pen pen drive. So I have to I have to um, convince her to run it. But actually, there's Facebook. So if I uh, just analyze what uh, Auntie Mary does, uh, then I can draw her attention to the fact there is a very good program here. Um, and then I thought maybe a cocktail uh, recipe program is what I will give her, because we can see from her machine that she likes cocktails. But then I uh, really realized that uh, that would uh, uh, require an installer, and then she would call uh, the system administrator. So. She would rather get a program from her friends uh, through Facebook, and then if she runs this program, this is going to be very interesting. Here's the here's our prog. I could copy here, but I know that I did something wrong. Therefore, I'm going to use the conserve the tin version, which is here, the dub. And when she launches this program, 
let's see what happens between the two machines. There are 5,000 routers, 80 firewalls between the two machines. What happens? First of all, she will see a dog. This is uh, the ugliest dog I've ever seen. But anyway, it's here. But something happened in the background. You could see that the fake web server got a connection. And then, if we see where we are, this is I, uh, why I have two command prompts. Home is called hat hack attacker, but where this was sent to, host name, is uh, Auntie Mary's machine. So I'm there, um, and I can remote control her machine before I close this window or before I uh, narrow this window. I'm just telling you that in this library you have the dog, uh, the dog, and you have the FG dump, and you have the netcat, uh, which I'm going to work with. And also, I'm going to save uh, this uh, link. I wasn't able to save this in advance because obviously it is uh, launching new uh, uh, directories all the time. So go away, you too. And let's see what we can do with it. Now, anyone who thinks uh, that this uh, uh, link is uh, therefore quite unstable. No, it is not unstable. This could be maintained uh, up until uh, eternity, so for good. Now, let's see what remote control can do. Let's say, can we give her anything interactive? Or am I just in the background? Because if I give her anything interactive, it's much better than if I can't, uh, because then I can use her. Therefore, I'm going to give her a calculator. It seems that it didn't happen. It did happen. She got the calculator. She's very happy. Oh, I was just uh, about to uh, uh, calculate something. One plus one, two, and then she quits. And then let's give her, let's give her this so that she could manage the services. Here you are. And she gets this. She's not surprised at all. And she says, oh, this is what I was looking for. Let's see what services there are on my machine. So you can actually pull her legs, and she is not going to uh, be suspicious, because this is how it works. Again, a couple of calculators. She's very happy with the calculators. She's not going to tell the system administrator. She has uh, for home calculators. Uh, she has four calculators. She uses one to add one plus two, uh, and so forth. Uh, there is no problem with that. And then, let's try to go further, what we can do with this, because we can see that we have an access to her um, uh, user interface. Let's uh, see what sort of rights we have. Who am I? I am Auntie Mari. Who am I slash all is going to tell you. Let's say more. OK. OK, here we can see that she is uh, really a workstation and she is just a user. What can I do with this? Because I promised that at the end I would be a domain admin and also going to be a system with domain controller. Very, very, very far from that. Now, what, what if Auntie Mary will uh, try uh, to um, hook up the domain controller, the cellular uh, split? And then there will be an authentication. I am Mrs. Mary uh, or Auntie Mary. Give me the most important uh, uh, shares. And she, the domain controller is going to say, no, no. And then the login window would come saying that this didn't happen. But if you know the good um, password and uh, uh, the good password and, uh, uh, and authentication, then you can do it. So let's try to do this. I launch. What is the domain controller? I don't know. I have to make investigation. I just have a, a command line, so I need to use this Outlook to find it out. No problem. This is a user domain. Hack me. And it's called Hack DC. So this is uh, this is what uh, one of the admin shares I should uh, um, uh, join to. 
So start. C dollar. Okay, let's give it to her. Very good. Automatic authentication. Auntie Mary got this. She loved the calculators, therefore she loves this as well. And she says, Auntie Mary and the password. And they say, oh, no, 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 no. Okay, other password. No, no, no. Okay, she will close it. It didn't work. But then I will give her another one because she was lazy. And this is what happens. How many times is she going to do this before she tells uh, the system administrator that this is already um, disturbing uh, her in her work? Because she's not looking there, she's, uh, you know, just entering into the machine and she's uh, typing uh, blindly and then uh, this uh, thing comes up all the time and this is really disturbing. Then she tells the system administrator again. This is a quite a weak part of the story. Uh, this only came from my head, but you can try this on other uh, threads. Uh, I actually uh, tested eight before one really worked. So to what extent do you think it is? Oh yeah, the system administrator would come here and say, oh yeah, you have to, you have to join the domain controller. You have to link to the domain controller. Oh, what is, uh, what is the password Hungarian? I will find this. Password is, by the way, the password. So, yeah. And then Auntie Mary can work uh, very well. And uh, if you see what we have here, we have a excellent link to the domain controller. And as far as the user right is concerned, this is sys administrator. So what is the strange thing here? On uh, Auntie Mary's machine, I'm no one, but through her machine, I can reach the domain controller, but I'm still stuck on uh, Auntie Mary's machine uh, computer, uh, so I should migrate here from here to the domain controller. Therefore, I prepared uh, this. So the first thing would be that reg-ed, reg -ed, this is something that you can use uh, to I write into uh, the remote machine. This is where it is. I will call it calculator. And therefore, calc exe is going to be the executable file. Let's give it to her and then enter. What? Uh oh. That sucks. Let's try to find another command, which uh, runs better. We have the registry uh, commands, but there are a lot of other commands, like shutdown. OK, let's try this one. Paste. Don't paste that one. Paste this one. A stronger control C. And now. A lot of control C's. And now it works. There is no access denied. And now it seems that it run. Now tell us when we did it, when this was done by worm. Is it good? OK. What the hell could be the difference between the two? I cannot try uh, write in the registry, but I can shut it down. Now, the difference, as I realized, is that the reg command itself cannot be run by anti Mary locally, uh, whether or not uh, the remote machine has the right. So if I delete from here uh, the reference to the remote computer, only that, and try to run it this way, then we will get the same nice message. So the problem is not with the reg command and not with the shut and there is no problem with the shutdown. So there sh I should have some command uh, which would run on the remote computer uh, with the right of a, a, a system administrator and would not prevent uh, running a local machine. I find such a, I found such a command which is at. 
not an AT command. This is like at, like when something should run. I, for example, would like to make another user on that domain controller. And then if we see what sort of, uh, uh, what sort of uh, uh, tools there are, there are two opportunities. <coughs> First, net user. This is the Windows entity type of uh, thing. And I have the Active Directory specific DSWeb and uh, other things, which now since I tried this net use, I'm going to try to do uh, to take this further. Uh, I will make a user here four four forty two is the time over there. So let me say it's sixteen forty three. And then there, I'm just going to uh, create a user. Now, this is not working. OK. What would have happened? I should have waited like 24 hours, but I have the time. And here we can check whether it's really appearing here at, yes, it is there. At 4.44, this uh, command is going to run. What will happen then? Um, a new user will be created who will have uh, no access right, but obviously with the same trick. I could give her, uh, give him any access because I give him, no, I gave him uh, a name. The name is uh, nobody. Well, this is quite, I think, uh, uh, um, um, surprising. Like, you know, you find uh, someone there who's called nobody and could not be, and could not be uh, deleted, but I'm not going to bother because of that. I will just make another step of migration. The reason I wanted to uh, save this uh, uh, directory is because everything has been extracted there, and therefore I'm co co copying everything there to the root, obviously. I will need the netcat for the migration, so I will paste this one per nc.exe uh, that goes to anti mary so netcat is there as a main controller and the fg dump which i will use to steal passwords that also is there and then let's see what's on the other side. Oh, that run very properly. Um, let's make a refresh. Oh, it's there. Nobody as a user is there. And let's see what is here in C root. This happens quite rarely that you can really check what had happened. And then I'm there, yes. What do I need? I need to migrate to uh, this. I need to migrate here. On port 80, there is a web server. So I'm going to launch another web server on the SSL port, which is a highly secure whatever it is. So it's a. And the nice thing here is that at port 80, we could say that AI the proxy and everything is going to catch that. But 443 is that still there are firewalls uh, which are not going to look at that because they say, oh, that's secure. Therefore, we are not going to look into that. Although this is not going to be secure, not even as far as the structure is concerned, it is absolutely illegal. Um, and a lot of firewalls still accept that. So that started to listen, and I have nothing to do just to migrate over the domain controller in such a way is that I'm going to copy the netget exe uh, with add on the same machine. Um, uh, let's say uh, 447, let's say 1646. Good. And if I'm quick enough, then in the other window where I'm already remote controlling uh, Auntie Mary, so here, good, let it go. 
I had it this. Let me just uh, check whether it's going to run today or tomorrow. Oh, this is going to run today. And then I just have to wait. Okay, 447 is already here. And let's see what what happens with the other web server, the 443 port. Now something is here. Microsoft Windows uh, version 6.h, 6.0 hostname, where am I? I'm in Hack DC. Now that's a problem. Uh, not for me. Who am I? Who knows who am I? Who am I? I'm the administrator. No. I'm the system. Well, that's quite good, I guess. Uh, that's that's quite good, isn't it? <laughs> I don't think you can wish anything more than that. Now, if after this I'll be able uh, to steal the whole uh, directory database, I think this is not a question. But if it's not a question, let's try to do it. C root, because I'm already there. I have the FG dump, which is a bit unstable on Windows 2008, uh, but if I force it, I will run sooner or later, so let's give it a try. What this does is that uh, making use of my system write will not only dump, uh, will not only dump the uh, passwords, uh, but, but will please don't, don't listen now. I'm going to shoot this down. I'll have to do this because I don't want to make the whole thing again. Okay. And then for the second time, hopefully it will run. Yes. Now it works. And what it did, 127001, uh, these are in the PV dump. You have all the usernames and uh, and uh, password hash, and also the cached uh, passwords and and so forth. Uh, this makes sense if there is a workstation. So let's see what this file looks like. The only problem with this remote man management is that tab is not working, but we can copy anyway, so. Okay, now a lot of no passwords. Uh, this is quite frightening. Why is this? Do you have t-shirts to give away? We will find out something. So why doesn't anyone has a password here? Yes, there are two columns, and uh, the second column, because this is Windows 2008, and these are the hashes, and these are there. After the presentation, please come here, and we'll find out something uh, to give you something. Yeah. Now, I, would I would only need to take this home. How could I take this home? It's on, it's on my screen, so I could also say thank you very much uh, for the for the passwords. But then let's take it home uh, professionally. How could we take it home professionally? I open another server. What are the ports we have not yet captured? SMTP. Okay, I have an SMTP server. Uh, it does not understand the SMTP commands, but who cares? But since I want to steal a file, therefore, netcat has a known bug. Therefore, this W has to be written here. And then anything that comes, put it into akarmi.txt. And then, I will just link the SMTP server. Sorry for that, but I cannot type and uh, speak at the same time. So it was 25. And I want to put this nice thing here. Let it go. 
Something's happening. It exited, probably the other exited as well, yes. And the local on the spot, I have the this TXT, Akarmi TXT. And Tab also works here. So you should all think it through whether this can be carried out today. Uh, were there any uh, problems that uh, users never commit? Or if I put it on the Facebook, is it going to be one person or or uh, several hundred people who are going to who are going to uh, run it? So you have to prepare for load balance as well. So if I crack all these passwords then I could be anyone, uh, there is VPN, and I could be any of the users. But I don't know why I took these uh, 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 passwords. Why do I need the password when I'm here as a system? There's one thing I left out. Uh, this is that I could, should ensure my own uh, return to the registry. And Netcat, let's put it let's put it into uh, brackets because uh, that would be caught by any of the antivirus programs. But in order to make this run all the time, uh, the trick is uh, that I can uh, make uh, make the at um, uh, scheduling and anyone, uh, I'm here in the domain, so reg would, me, would work here. I just uh, tried it. So with that, uh, that concludes my presentation. And uh, let me just give the floor once this is copied here. So let me give the floor uh, to questions and answers. I don't know if this double control C is needed, but apparently yes. OK, so probably it, it's gone. And now if we look there, we can find uh, the whole thing there. I'm a juggler, so I can open the registry editor in such a way that it opens wherever I want it, not because I've opened it 600 times, but this is like an external force. So uh, this is to be thing, uh, thought over. Can this happen? Could this happen? Can we do anything against it? I'm sure we could. And the last question, raise your hands. Uh, I said, there's nothing new under the sun. Please raise your hand, anyone who learned something from this presentation. But it wasn't technical of technical nature. I hope it wasn't, because these are uh, primary school, like Netcat is taught in uh, uh, third grade of uh, the primary school. So thank you very much for your attention. And should there be any questions, I'm ready to answer those questions. Yeah, there's a question there. OK, so what can we do if once this happened? It should not happen. It should not happen. The problem is that you could look at any logs and anywhere. But you can see you can you can make it such a way that all of the traffic would be valid. You can say that domain controller, there is no HTTPS. Of course, you can, because we install things uh, from uh, now and then. So I think it's rather prevention that we have to talk about, because I, I I was thinking how we uh, can filter this out. Here's a net tag. Active connection. There is a demo effect, but there would be a 443. You would see a 443. Uh, and then you see network traffic. This one uh, would uh, be caught because it's not SSL in terms of uh, uh, of uh, of, in, of the traffic. However, if I uh, had the time, it would be SSL. So it's rather prevention. Other questions? So thank you very much for your.